Hello, everybody. This is Janet Marshall. I am your voluntary benefits specialist, and I've been your advisor for 11 years or so, and I was uh, doing this with AFLAC. But this year, we're switching it up, and we are moving from AFLAC to Assurity Benefits. And we're doing this because I compared with other carriers, and I found out that there's an even better option out there for everyone. The premiums are lower, and the benefits are richer. If you do have an AFLAC plan that you want to keep, like maybe a dental plan, um, we can do that. We'll just set you up so you're on a direct bill, and I can help you with that and advise you whether you need to do that with that kind of a plan or, or whatever plan you want to look at for that. Plus, it is um, a good program in that it's super easy to enroll. The enrollment process is um, I send you a QR code. You click on it. It takes you right to the site. You can go through and look at all of the benefits that are offered, little videos on each one to give a little more explanation if you want. And then you can either enroll or waive on that benefit. But it is important that everybody goes to this site and does that uh, to keep everybody compliant because we have to make sure that everybody had the opportunity to view it. So no obligation, but you do have to go do that. Um, enrollment is going to end by the 25th, I think I said. So um, don't mess around. Do this. Don't forget. Um, don't put it off. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with voluntary benefits, when you have a plan with a surety um, or some other carrier like this, you and you are sick or injured, the benefits pay out in cash directly to you so that you can spend that money on whatever you need to. You're still going to have rent, right? You still need groceries. You're going to have a copay or deductible probably. So anything that has come up that you need, you can spend this money that way. So... Um, it's a first line of defense, financial uh, protection, so that you have things covered. Um, there are four plans that we are offering. The first one is an accident plan, and you're covered 24-7 on or off the job. Um, your initial treatment, if you have to go in and get checked out, is $150 reimbursement to you. If you go to the emergency room, that is a $300 reimbursement. It's got a $300 x-ray benefit. Um, your follow-up visits pay out $150 each. If you have to have um, physical therapy, and this includes chiropractic, acupuncture, pays out $90 uh, for every time you go in there up to six times. You need crutches because you have a broken leg. It's going to pay you $375 for your crutches. That was $125 on the accident plan. It has a specific sum for each injury. If you have a fracture, it's going to pay $3,000 to you. If it's an open fracture, $6,000. There's benefits for a gunshot wound, PTSD, um, telehealth. Uh, if you're hospitalized to your injury, it pays $1,500 the first night of hospital, and then it pays $300 a day till you're out. If you're in ICU, it pays $600 a day. Uh, if you have to go to a rehab unit, you know, you, a rehab hospital, get your knee replaced or something, um, $300 a day up to 30 days for that too. And it has a $50 wellness plan uh, for everybody in the family that's on the plan. And then there is, of course, the uh, accidental death benefit. If you're killed, it's going to pay out $60,000 for you, $30,000 for your spouse, and $15,000 for a child. Plus, they add 50% more to that um, if you're wearing a seatbelt. And you know, it's an auto accident. Um, so that's that plan. And that plan is only $19 a month. So... Again, better rates than we were getting before. The next plan I'm going to talk about is critical illness. This is a plan that pays out lump sum, and you get to choose how much you want. It's either ten thousand, twenty thousand, or thirty thousand. Um, if I an example on premium on this is if you're forty years old, um, a thirty thousand dollar plan is going to run you about thirty two dollars a month or sixteen dollars a pay period, um, and you're locked in at that rate. You're you don't have to move up on that. Um, children get 25% of whatever amount you uh, choose. Um, so that's a pretty simple, just straight up front. Have a heart attack, get diagnosed with cancer, you're going to get that lump of cash and spend it however you need to. The next plan is the hospital confinement plan. So if you have to be hospitalized for any reason, your appendix burst, or you were in a car wreck or something. 
the first night when you get admitted, they're going to pay $3,000 for that. Um, there are benefits for drug and rehab. Um, there's mental health and nervous disorder benefits on this hospital plan. You just don't see that uh, on many other plans. And this plan comes with a critical illness rider. So you can put this on your hospital plan. Um, it covers cancer, a stroke, a heart attack. If, you, if any of those things happens to you, then they give you a lump sum of $10,000 on that. Um, so, and that plan is only about $33 a month. So it has benefits for everything that goes along with being in a hospital. And when you go through the proposal on your phone or your computer, you'll be able to see all of the small details. Um, the, the last plan I want to talk about is a short-term disability because it's really, really a nice plan. Um, you qualify for up to $600 per week. Well, actually, it's much higher than that. Um, an example, though, if you made $52,000 a year, you would qualify for $600 a week. If you make more than that, of course, you're going to be able to qualify for more benefit. But your total disability pays out 100% of whatever you choose. If you uh, can go back to work part-time, it'll pay 50% of your disability if you can't do your full job. Um, there are benefits if you are disabled because you donated an organ or bone marrow for somebody else, and that makes you sick or what, you can't go back to work. You can collect on your disability. It has disability benefits for substance abuse. Um, an accidental death also on this plan will pay a lump sum of 25 times your total disability benefit um, of, of the insured to uh, your beneficiary. If, and if you die as a result of a sustained injury in a covered accident within 90 days, that's that 25 times benefit amount, a maximum of three, three grand. Um, there's a lump sum if you are diagnosed with a terminal illness um, with a life expectancy of six months or less, they'll pay out a lump sum. So it's a real nice all around plan. Of course, benefits for having a baby or just anything that's gonna go along with all of that. So th that's the gist of these plans. Um, you will have a web site you can go to to go through and look at all of these benefits. And I encourage you to do that at your earliest convenience so that it's fresh in your mind and you get it done. If anybody wants to call me uh, and talk to me about anything, what benefits you have currently, please do so. My number is 720-217-4336. So uh, good luck to you all. I hope to see some of you in person. I will be in later this month on the 18th. Uh, so I can talk to you face to face, but please go ahead and get started on this and I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.